Morning all. Now this might look like an Arduino Pro Mini running the standard Blink program, but it's not. It's running this. And this is uh, a whole series of ASM functions. And within each of the ASM uh, statements, there is a string containing assembly language. Now this all came about when I was trying to put the Arduino to sleep to reduce its uh, current draw and I knew that I had to issue the assembly language instruction sleep, uh, the second one down there or third one down, but I couldn't think of a way of actually issuing an assembly language uh, instruction from C. And it was Josh who put me onto something called inline assembler and here's the inline assembler cookbook. I'll put the URL for this in the description. And uh, while reading through all of this stuff, I thought, I wonder if it'd be possible to write an entire program, the sort of simplest program that you can write, which is flashing LED, blinking LED, to write the whole thing in assembler. Now this is a very complicated document and I just didn't fancy sort of learning all the rules of inline assembler. So I thought, let's just break all the rules. So the first thing I needed to know was, um, how do I switch on the LED? Now the LED on an Arduino is on digital pin 13. And down here you can see digital pin 13 is connected to um, the microcontroller port B bit five. So into the data sheet for the 80 mega 328p and there's port B it's uh, six up from the bottom and it's on register 5. So now we jump into the uh, instruction set for the microcontroller and there are some bit set clear and test instructions so the top one there SBI set bit in an IO register so to turn on the LED I need to set bit 5 in register 5 and so there's the actual assembly language instruction, second one down, after the label start, it says SBI 0x05,5, so that's set bit in register 5, bit 5. Now I've put the register in hexadecimal and the uh, bit in decimal, but that doesn't really make any difference. Now if you go down two lines, you've got CBI, clear bit uh, in register 5, bit 5. So those are the two assembly language instructions that are turning on the LED and turning off the LED. And in between them, you can see I'm loading immediate LDI, register 16 with just a number, and I'm just picking 40 at the moment, and then following that with R call delay. So in the data transfer instructions, uh, third one down, LDI, load immediate, you specify the register and then the immediate piece of data you want to put in it. And in the branch instructions, uh, what is it, fourth one down, R call is a relative subroutine call. Uh, I could have used a, a standard call uh, two below that, which is a direct subroutine call. But the relative subroutine call, if I can fit this in, uh, uses three instructions on the right there. And the direct subroutine call uses four, so it's quicker to use a relative if you can. So that upper section just switches the LED on, that's the SBI, calls the delay routine, subroutine, switches the LED off and calls the delay subroutine again. And then at the bottom it says R jump, that's a relative jump, back to the label start. So it just jumps back round to the beginning. Now probably the hardest part of getting this to work was that delay subroutine. It's just down here. And it's very difficult to make a very fast microcontroller run slowly. You have to stack delay upon delay and this has got three nested delay loops and I'll try and explain what that does. So here are the three nested delay loops. First thing we do, now assume all the registers are at zero when we start. First thing we do, decrement register eight and we say, did it go to zero? Well it won't have done because it'll go to 255. Uh, so it'll go around that loop again. Decrement again goes to 254. So it'll go around this loop 256 times. Then it'll drop through, having got to zero. 
decrement register 9, that won't go to 0, that'll go to 255, and then it goes all the way back to the top. So we'll get one decrementing of register 9, and then another 256 times around this inner loop. Decrement register 9 again, that'll go down to 254, and another 256 times the inner loop. Now when register 9 finally does get to 0, we will uh, drop into this third loop, or the outer loop, decrement that, that'll go to 255, but then we'll go all the way back to, to the top, do this one 256 times, this one enclosing it 256 times, so that's 256 times 256, which is 65,536, and we'll do that however many times it takes to decrement register 16 down to zero. Now when register 16 was also started at zero, the loop was too long, it was um, several seconds. So what I'm doing here, I'm using the LDI instruction to preload register 16 so it doesn't start at um, 256 effectively, I'm starting it at 40. So we get a reasonable length delay, but it is a million or several million times around that loop to get just about a second's worth of delay. Now the only other instruction of note is at the bottom of the delay subroutine and that's a ret, return. So when you call a subroutine, um, you have to return back to the point from where you called it. And there is one other instruction that's required. In the setup function, we've got SBI register 4, 5. And in the data sheet, you can see that register 4 is DDRB. That's the data direction register. So that's the equivalent of doing an Arduino pin mode function. Now this program works, but like I say, I've probably broken pretty much every rule in the inline assembler book by writing my program like this. And one of the things I was thinking when I was writing it is, can I use register 8? Can I use register 9? Can I use register 16? What happens if C is using that same register? So I found this document, what registers are used by the C compiler? And it goes through uh, call used registers, R18 to 27, 30 to 31. Uh, the bottom there, fixed registers, R0, R1. But what I really wanted to know is what registers aren't used by the C compiler. Now you may have also spotted that I'm using registers 8, 9, and 16. Why? Well, it was 8, 9, and 10, just arbitrarily picked, really. But then when I tried to do an LDI, load immediate to register 10, it said, can't do that. You can only load immediate to register starting at 16. So there are all sorts of rules imposed by the assembler. There are rules imposed by the compiler. It's not as straightforward as just building a simple program like this. Like I said, I have here broken all the rules. But it works. And I just wanted to have a little bit of a play with inline assembler and uh, learn some of the assembly language instructions and see if I could make something work. So I'm not calling this a tutorial because it's not been done the proper way. It was just a bit of fun. But if you fancy having a play with inline assembler, this is perhaps the place to start. And you can do it without leaving the comfort and the safety of the Arduino IDE.